Hello, welcome to the course Building an ASP.NET Application with Visual Studio 2017. My name is Ken Tucker. I am a web developer for SeaWorld and I was a Microsoft MVP from 2003 to 2016. In this course, we will cover what is ASP.NET Core. We'll talk about how ASP.NET Core is cross-platform. We'll talk about using MVC with ASP.NET Core. And finally, we'll talk about working with multiple environments. So when we cover ASP.NET Core, we'll talk about what is ASP.NET, the classic version, what is .NET Core, what is ASP.NET Core. We'll also talk a little bit about when it's appropriate to use ASP.NET or ASP.NET Core. Finally, we'll set up our Visual Studio 2017 for web development. When we talk about ASP.NET Core as cross-platform, we'll set up Docker for our web development, and finally we'll create a simple ASP.NET Core website and host it in a Linux Docker, Docker container to prove it can run an operating system other than Windows. When we talk about ASP.NET Core MVC, we're going to show that both the Web API and MVC controller use the same class instead of uh, separate classes like in ASP.NET MVC. We'll talk about how dependency injection is built into ASP.NET Core, and we'll show some examples on how to use it. Finally, we'll look at the different ways of doing logging with ASP.NET Core and how to use configuration files. When we get to the working with multiple environments section, we'll talk about how to set up your server, where your website's hosted to have different settings per environment, and we'll show how to, deter how to set up so that we know what environment the server is running under. We'll talk about TypeScript 2.1. We'll also talk about in a later video, we'll talk about JavaScript packages like NPM, Bower, and Gulp. And finally, we'll talk about deployment of an ASP.NET web application that we created in the third section. 